The book is about um, patients who were admitted to the West Riding Popper Lunatic Asylum between the years 1818 and 1869. And essentially what I've done is I've chosen uh, in excess of 150 very interesting stories to incorporate in the book. The 150 plus people I've picked were all, they all caught my attention. There was something different about their stories. I love the story of the, of the girl who believed she was Queen Victoria and uh, the way she was treated the, the doctors put her in a room with another girl who thought she was Queen Victoria and they kind of worked out for themselves that there couldn't possibly be two of them that were Queen Victoria and consequently that was the, the start of her recovery. In, in my book I've tried to sort of cover different sorts of stories about the patients and the reality is that some of them are really very sad. One of the stories talks about the the efforts that the medical staff went to to try to save this young lady and it's it's absolutely astonishing it was they, they didn't just accept that she'd take her own life they tried to revive her there are also very funny stories William Roberts um, William had a, a bit of a problem with uh, with drink he had been admitted to the asylum Oh, many years earlier and his case notes what you've got to understand is at the time uh, patients were actually given um, beers wines as part of their well, I'll say treatment but uh, William was was very good at getting more than he should have done shall we say so William was taken fishing and on the way back from the fishing where they clearly had a, a really good day out he he clearly had something, quite a lot to drink. He fell off the cart and he was left lying in the middle of the road fast asleep to be found later by the, um, when they actually realised they'd lost him and he was still asleep in the road when they found him. David Blamires. There is a, a very brief um, introduction to David in the records. He had been admitted to the asylum from Wakefield Prison. So when he came into the asylum, um, they, they sort of encouraged them, they encouraged all the patients who were able to do some work. So he was going to help in the wards. And in the case notes, it describes the fact that David was working in that ward, um, going round the ward behind somebody else whose job it was to make the beds. And David was busy taking the covers back off the beds. And uh, the case notes say something along the lines of, and as a result of that, he got a black eye. <laughs>